also. We might need like three. Maybe four. Okay, let's do four. It's going to be a bit of an electrical issue probably, but uh, so it's at the moment 30 degrees. You don't need it all the way up to 30 degrees. I imagine it would give more power costs the more of a temperature difference. So I'm going to try and just put it to like 10 degrees. They're happy up to about eight. It is quite a large area we're trying to do as well. And I imagine that as the temperature comes up and they're not needing to be used, they'll probably be nothing. Okay. So let's play that and see if that uh, melts the snow. Should start to melt the snow a little bit in their enclosure. And then we'll see where the, the heaters are working. Okay. Many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Well, thank you. Let's just uh, up that price a bit then, shall we? And the inspection report is three. Um, there was a starving, dehydrated animals. The education wasn't good. And that was habitat one. Yeah, the snow's going away now. But if the snow comes back, at least they'll be a bit happier because they'll have the right temperature. Okay, how are we doing now? Low welfare on one of the Niala. Because they're stressed and trying to hide. Okay. What I think I need to put in here is some plants that are good for hiding stuff. So what I want to do is to go... I'm going to try and see if I can species filter it. No. Okay. What kind of plants do you like? African grassland tropical. Give them some more plants in there, they might be a bit happier. Some more hidey hidey plants. Vines, no, nettles. What would they be able to hide in? Nettles, nettles. Reeds, maybe. Reeds and ferns and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I put some reeds in there. I might be able to go and hide in those a bit more. Well, that was clever. See if that'll help them to hide a little bit better. They suddenly all can't find a, a staff room. Really? Come on. I may need to put a staff room in a place where I wouldn't have normally done that before. Oh no, apparently they all found a staff room now, did they? Okay, so there's a disease risk in Habitat 1, so... I'm gonna maybe hire more keepers. Cause that might just be a, a, an overall sort of keeper issue. Hire another keeper, and then we're just gonna call the keeper to the. Still got some protesters. I am working on it though. Mechanic research is complete. Oh, fantastic! So I can start working on my new. Yes, my new enclosure for the. the exhibit species. So, how many species do I have now? I have. seven. But I do not have 10. So I only need to add 3. That shouldn't be too hard. So do my exhibit species. And then add 3 extra habitats. And we are done. I'm only 2.5 hours in. And it's like an entire zoo that I've had to make here. So you know. I think I'm doing alright. So let's go and have a quick look at the, uh, the blueprints and stuff. And see what we've got unlocked now. If anything. Nothing much there. Is 
two, reputation, animal rating three, conservation rating one, guest education rating one, guest happiness three and a half. Not too bad. All right, I can see their hunger and their thirst and their education and all that stuff there. That's pretty cool. Not that it's something I've really needed too much yet because I haven't really been asked to work on the guest happiness too much. The litter is still a problem. As soon as they get stressed, they have a problem. I've given them more places to hide though, so they it tends to go up and down. Go clean their cage. They have loads of keepers, I don't understand. Like, maybe they need better work zones. This might be where the work zones start to come in. Well, we'll see. If I need to zone them, I will. If I don't need to zone them, I won't, though. It's a, a waste of my time. Let's have a look at uh, some of the hard shelters and things. Do I get any? Because I definitely, definitely, I, I did like a new theme and stuff. Oh, okay. I thought it said that it was done. Hmm. Oh, you have to have level two before you get the blueprints. Right, that's fine. I'll just leave them. I'll leave them be with that then. I'll carry on making new different animal species. So we've got a disease sable antelope. Let's uh, call the vet for that then. That tends to be enough, honestly. You just call the vet. I called the keeper to clean the cage, but it seems like a bit. I, also, I need to watch out for the space requirements here because we... I think we might need to put some contraceptives in. In fact, you know what? We Could we contracept the males? Have a look what's in the habitat quickly. Right. So, I don't really want to have, like, a ton more babies. Well, oh, I could sell the babies. Meh. Yeah, as long as they're kind of happy with their space and stuff, then I think we're okay, but... We are getting quite a few babies nowadays. Yeah, we're going to contracept the, um... The alpha male. Because I think that might be a bit better. Yeah, the peafowls. I think the vet's already in there sorting them out, though, so that's fine. Habitat 5. Oh, there's a keeper on route there anyway. We do need to sort the barriers as well, apparently. Gosh, no one does anything without me telling them to, apparently, nowadays. That one's lovely and clean. Yay, one of the Niala is expecting offspring. Wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna put in more bins because there's a litter problem. More bins. And I will also hire a few more caretakers. Now, do I have um, donation boxes in front of here? I don't, actually. Well, those might help. And uh, also we want to go for bins as well. Oh, we've got some new bins. That's pretty nice. And some new benches. Not that I ever give them benches. They don't deserve them. Picnic canopies. Picnic benches. I'll give them a bin in front of kind of each enclosure as well then. A couple of bins over here. One of the bins got knocked over? How dare. How very dare they. I'm a caretaker. Clearly need a couple more. I have like a million of them. 
one security guard. Doing really well. <laughs> Oh, the mid spending a lot of time commuting, but again, something I could work on if it was a zoo that I was going to be working on for more time. But I feel like compared to the the when I went to franchise mode and did a zoo there, I feel like I'm doing a lot better and, and, and developing this zoo a lot faster. I think I am getting the hang. Progress. a third of the way through. It'll get there. It'll be right at the end probably that I start doing all of that stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly have a, a really good place to check how much, how many um, different species you have is actually to go to the research center and to count how many there are here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need eight, nine, ten. Let's go to animal trading and have a little look at what we've got. So we don't have any bison yet, so that would be one of our remaining ones. We've got wildebeest, we don't have black bears. We've got those, we've got those, we've got those, we've got those. Don't have Japanese macaques, we've got those. And we don't have lemurs. So we need almost everything, honestly, that, that exists. Crocodiles, snow leopards. We only have one snow leopard. So what are we going to do now? We've got loads of gorillas, but they're all male. I don't think that's going to go well. I really don't think that's going to go well. So how about we do uh, some black bears? I think that would be pretty cool. And then maybe some Japanese macaques up around them. And then we'll go up the hill with them. And then maybe we'll do some crocodiles at the top. So, oh, they're all male again. I don't think that's going to go down well either. Alright, well, well, we'll go we'll go with the Japanese macaques then, shall we? Let's go and have a look at the zoo. Well, let's buy one male. And then let's have a look at the Zoopedia and just see um, what kind of social groups they like. 8 to 50. Up to 17 males. Up to 33 females. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So we're going to want as many as we can. Male and female. So we need a group of 8. So I need 7 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 more. Well, we'll have to get more later then, won't we? We'll have to adopt all of them. They're one short, but I'll just get one later on. So, what I also want to know is how big a... And I unfortunately can't go into the Zoopedia from here. How big of an area they're going to need? Not a big area, but there's going to be lots of them, so I imagine we're going to want a climb-proof barrier. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And it doesn't have as interspecies stuff. So I'm going to make them a nice big pen up here, so I'm going to just uh, get the, the path going around and up here, because I'll probably be I'll probably put the bears up here or something around here sort of area and then we'll come up here for the crocs and a bit of a walk we'll have to put lots of toilets and shops and things around but it's fine so they need anything up to a level one but it has to be non-climbable it's not watertight not climbable corrugated is not climbable so maybe we'll give them corrugated corrugated and glass mixed and that would be fine. And it said it needs to be at least one meter high. They must be quite little then. Oh, you know what? I need to do the path first. And I'm going to need to, to put a whole load of new um, buildings, like staff buildings up here as well. I'm gonna go more around this way with it. And I'll go up to the crocodiles up here. Crocodiles will be the last ones that we do. Yeah. So crocodiles, 
black bears or, or whatever else. And But the Japanese macaques are going to be up here. So I'm going to use the corrugated barrier on most of their place. They're going to have a, one, a place that goes kind of around like that. So. I will need to leave space for a bit of a... For a keeper at the back there so we'll make glass at the here okay let's make that a bit smaller i could do curved sections i've done a lot of um just for ease really in these tutorial sections i've done a lot of straight barriers but i will probably do a lot more curved barriers if i'm trying to do a a bit of a less quick zoo where i'm being a bit more careful with everything so I need to just make sure that I can get a, a path around the back there so that I can put a few buildings around the back there. Like I say, this is my way of trying to hide it from the guests as much as possible. It might be that I can't. Hey, we can just do this apparently. Intersecting terrain. Really? Okay, I think it's getting a bit ridiculous now. Yeah, let's just control Z all that back. That's ridiculous. That's just not working the way I wanted it to. However, I might be able to get some steps up here. No, can't do it there. This is going to be irritating, I can tell. What I might do is get rid of this enclosure entirely and put in... It's far too thick as well. Which probably wasn't helping. There we are. That's all I needed. Just around the back. Go out, out ah. we'll go out to like a keeper hut around here. It's fine. And barriers, and we want to go to. Maybe I will try a curve section. And we can try and sort of mold around here. This is actually quite pretty. Yeah, these cut. Oh. As soon as I changed, it changed out of curved. That's interesting. curved straight or curved for I don't know if that's maybe something that I needed to research or something they do straight or curved on hedges the only certain barriers that I can do a straight or curve on I can do it on brick so brick might be good because brick is non-climbable I believe yeah, that'll be fine. It's, it's a higher resistance grade than I really need, but if I want to do a curve, I will need to do that. Oh, 
I like their pen. Their pen's lovely. Right, let's give them a hubby cat get. Which I think will be around here somewhere because I'm going to put them a keeper hut quite close by. Talking about that, let's put them one in. And put a vet around there as well if I need to. I might not want to. We'll see. I'm gonna employ another vet for them. Though. Uh, another keeper, sorry, for them. You are gonna look after the Japanese macaques, in theory. Okay, are they ready now? Are they ready to go to quarantine? They seem to be. Oh, they've all got little Japanese names. That's so cute. Got Japanese names because they're from Japan. Okay, the macaques are off to quarantine. And then we'll work on their little place. What is that in the middle of the sky? My giant tortoise is about to have offspring. Mechanic research is complete. More barriers. Power. Oh, wow, we can have different power levels, different power things. Um, so what new barriers do we have? We've still got hedges, chain link, corrugated. Can we curve them yet? Wood log. Oh yeah, we've got like a... No, that's the level 3. Ah, steel mesh. Oh, transdemi... Yes, this will be good for my bisons. Because they need a little bit more um, of a tough barrier. It might be... That might even be quite good for the wolvies. The two to keep trying to break out of their barrier. They seem alright over there actually now. I love that we've got babies over here too. Baby sable antelopes. All sorts of cool things. This zoo is heaving. How are we doing for money then? We are losing money. Oh, we're making a profit. Okay. Ongoing expenses are quite high. Staff wages are very high. The rest is not too bad. Their food costs a bit. That's fair enough. But I could be researching new and different shops for them to go to and things like that, but I'm not right now. Okay, so my next thing to do then, I'll work on profit when I need to work on profit because we've had the 11 ready to leave. Multiple animals have low welfare. Oh man, the wildebeest. Okay, let's just pause this because we've got a lot to do. So, first things first, I want to get the macaques into their cages, so... I don't know what's wrong with them at all. So I'm going to go by species to start with, and we'll get the macaques all into where they should be, and then we'll help them to settle in. What do you mean, invalid destination? They can go here, right? Why can't they go up here? Is that not a proper pen? Fix incomplete. Oh, okay. Is there a gap in the barrier? Yep. Oh no. How frustrating. Edit barrier. Okay. 
ready. Okay, fine. Right, let's get the macaques in then. Seven of them. Delivery scheduled. Wonderful. And then we can go and have a look at what the issue is with them. Um, there will be issues. I haven't done anything to make that a nice place for them yet at all. So, what's up with you guys? You're very stressed. Why, I wonder? Not enough shelter. And the food enrichment is only partially. Right, so they're starting to get overcrowded, I believe. We need to put some more shelters in, that's fine. We can put some some in down around here, around the side here. We might even have new shelters at this point. Not really. That's very interesting though. That it's um that when you filter by species, not all of them work that's really interesting so let's just go for black wildebeest let's make sure that these are big enough shelters one in there and they're also suddenly not liking the terrain either weird because they liked it before not enough short grass not enough soil apparently okay well we can work on this okay let's see if the hard shelter is improved Yes, good. Now then, the food enrichment is only available for some of them, apparently. So we'll just put some more balls in. There they are. So their enrichment is good. Interspecies bonus. Stress is bad. Okay, let's play this and see if their stress help. If their stress gets better. They can hide a bit more. He's got an injured now. They improved everything else. Let's just have a quick look at their social. The adult population is good there. Okay, they seem to be getting better, that's cool. Except for the one that's ill. That one's got Campylobacillus. Bacteriosis, sorry. Campylobacteriosis. That one's not very happy. Still a social issue. Let's move to you then. Oh, you're a little in. And you're stressed out. Trying to hide. because I think from their social aspect they it looks like they should have oh I wonder if they've got too many babies for the adults 
That might be the case, because it's saying an adult population of five is needed. It's the same landlope, so are they having the same problem? No, they seem okay. Okay, the macaques have arrived, so I need to go and see how they're doing. Not very happy at all. Crowding issues, really, already? Hard shelters needed. Okay. some shelters. I would love to change the some of the shelters out though. That's quite a nice shelter for them. Is that enough? That's apparently enough. They only need a little one. Um, they're going to need some climbable area as well. So let's get them some climbing frames. If I can. Climbable. Oh dear. I don't have any climbing things. I would have to make them. Right, okay. No habitat cleanliness. Call the keeper. Yeah, I know they have low welfare. I've got nothing to give them. Oh, of course, everything was... Of course, there's nothing that the wildebeest are going to want to climb on. Gee, Egypt. Right, so we've got the J for Japanese. Right, okay. I need climbing blueprints. Please give me a climbing bl blueprint. Nancy gave me a climbing blueprint. I gotta make one myself. Sucks. Alright then. We will start with this platform. And we will put some logs on it. I hope you appreciate what I'm doing for you, little macaques. ramp. This is actually a pretty cool place. Okay, I'm gonna give you a, uh, a few climbable logs on here too. Interesting the way that these snap together. <laughs> I'm gonna put a climbable log there. I wonder if I can like um, do like advanced moving and advanced rotating and advanced like height changes and things like that to it. to see where I'm putting things. I wonder if I could maybe just do that from above a bit more. Yeah, maybe. That would be better. So, <laughs> I don't know how much they're going to like this weird-ass platform I've made them in their in their plate. This is why I don't, I don't do... This is why I don't... Ah, no! Well, it's certainly going to be fun, right? Certainly gonna be fun. That needs to move a little. So this is the problem. You could be here all day making climbing platforms for these guys. Duplicate, duplicate and advance, move, demolish. 
I go to move, right, and I put it in, I can actually do this with it. Just like bed it into the ground and that will make it look like it is flush. Um, and I would need to, I think for this bit, I would need to put, like, another thing on top of it, maybe. I, I might want to do the same with this, too. Like, move that into the ground. That didn't work too well. Quite as well as I wanted. I can put that on top of there if I need to. But yeah, I have a lot of respect for the people that did all of the, 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 the blueprints for all these climbing frames. I'm actually just going to get rid of that. I'm going to... I might put a climbable ramp in. Mm. What else can I put in here? Ah, oh, I don't know. I'm terrible at this. So bad at it. them some like climbable branches in and stuff because they'll enjoy those just on their own exactly where I want to be and then I can't properly move it then so now I want to move it so I want to go advanced move so this helps a lot surface move ah oh, no i'm just trying to work out how um with the advanced rotate and everything it works ah oh, here we go i knew there was a way to try and just wiggle things around a bit more yeah right now then these poles oh that's a lot more easy lot more um, refined way of doing it I suppose don't worry I won't spend a ton of time doing all this sort of stuff oh yeah that one needs to come in a little Still a little bit wonky, but never mind. So I can reset the rotation. I can toggle it to a rotate. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, so climbing frames are kind of cool when you know what you're doing with them. I still don't have it quite right there. All the legs and stuff are not quite right, but... Let's go and have a look at an, a, a macaque quickly. Let's just play. And have a look and see. Oh, are they more ready to leave? That I didn't already bring in. I think I had nine of them, so there's two still there. Social. 
has problems. Insufficient space, so it's still probably a problem with climbable space, yeah. But they're enjoying their climbing space. I just need to make more of it. So even if I just put more of those platforms around the place, I've tried to make them a little thing, but it's not great. It's not the best. Is it really, guys? There. Do you have enough climbable space now? I don't know why you are box. Did I accidentally click on box? I have no idea. Hmm. They still don't have much in the way of climbable area. So let's just do them some more of these platforms like up here. The world's jankiest climbing platform, but never mind. See, that's not increased their climbable area at all. Give us more ramps and stuff, more logs. More ramps. Ramps do not seem to give you more climbable area. It seems to be all the logs and stuff. Go away, Instagram. Stupid Instagram. So it's all about how many logs there are. Definitely. So that's actually quite interesting. There we are. That place is just full of, like, sticks. Hope you like your place, Japanese macaques. Yeah. So their terrain is really badly set up as well. So let's go and have a look at terrain. Um, they they hate their terrain and they hate their plants. I hate their enclosure, actually. I really hate their enclosure. But I will play around with that maybe a bit later. I might be able to get rid of them later. I might be able to research like some climbing frames and stuff for them. <laughs> Let's go to mechanic research and see if we can do that yet. Mm. Mechanic research. See if there's like climbing frames. Well, there's some habitat stuff. And the shelters and climbing. Yeah. It's like climbing blueprints. Give me climbing blueprints. Patricia. Research it for me. Okay. Like I say, other than other than the horrible macaque climbing frames, which I may work on sorting out after I've maybe done the terrain, like they're happy with the amount of climbable objects they've got. I just need to maybe put them in slightly more of a a, a fun order for them. But they're fifty four percent welfare. It's not too bad. But their terrain and their plants and their enrichment and stuff is really bad. So they probably are protesting over my treatment of my macaques. I expect. This is the thing that takes the time actually, is getting them all happy with what they're doing. It really does take the time. I want to have a look at my animals welfare. The tortoises are really unhappy and there's like a million of them. How do we have so many? My goodness me. I clearly needed to keep more of an eye on them. Let's go over there and have a little look. So I think they are probably severely having problems with welfare. Okay, I think we need to maybe sell some of them. We've got too many babies basically. The ones that are saying they're distressed and trying to hide. Insufficient shelter. And insufficient food enrichment. So 
So if I remember rightly, these guys like the dog dog balls and the fruit spike trees. Sable antelopes are now fighting for alpha status. I have allowed far too many babies to be born in a zoo, basically. So what I need to now go and do is to go and just... I'm going to pause it because it's getting a little out of hand. And I want to go and uh, have a little look at who I want to get rid of. 50, I've got a 58-year-old tortoise. That's amazing. Now, do you count as a juvenile? When do they count as adults? I need to know. I need to know more about you. Messy. Alright, let's just go to that one. Well, it was apparently supposed to be there. Oh, good. Can't even see. Zoos at night. Does anyone else find zoos at night really creepy? I think they are. Super creepy. Super creep. They're like 44 years old. Kind of insane. But you've been laying lots of little tortoise eggs. And uh, we've got lots of... Uh, apparently a four-year-old is a juvenile. All right. So I have like bajillions and bajillions of juvenile tortoises that just need to go, honestly. All right. And we've got some fighting going on as well in the antelope pen. Because apparently they all want to be alphas. No, this is a nightmare. I've, it's taken me too long to get all of these things ready. I should have just plonked down a load of new species and been like, yes, 10 out of 10. Woohoo. But no, now I have to sort all their issues out. Which is no good. We've got two in quarantine as well, so let's get them out. Location. Quarantine. Oh no, we've got one in quarantine. Okay, it's fine. You go to quarant you go to your habitat. And we're going to have to do some selling and sorting out of these tortoises. I believe you can still sell them. Uh, you can just send them to animal trading and just sell them. And that, I think, is what I'm going to do. I'll send them to the trade center. So I need species. And I need anything that is a tortoise. Because I have many, many of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten of them. I don't need 10 of them, so I'm going to sell some. So yeah, sell that one. That's a male. It's a male juvenile as well. Um, so I always do like these breeding pairs. I maybe shouldn't do that. I should maybe just be like, okay, let's get rid of you as well. So I send all of those guys to the trade center. And then I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Maybe even another couple could go. And send all of those to the trade center. Move. Thank you. Wonderful. Right. So we're going to do that and, and give the. thin them out a bit. Give them a bit more. I need to thin the crowds out. Good grief. Making some good profit though. This is a problem. I'm trying to properly run this zoo, whereas I don't think I need to. Yeah, that, I'm not surprised that the habitat cleanliness in there is a problem because it's overcrowded. I can't see! 